Woo. Okay, so we're back with another exciting part and dealing with more retirement plans. So you just thought the IRAs and the Roths were just it. No, we now dealing with small business and self-employed retirement plans. A little bit different but as we go through. So, the tax law does provide favorable tax treatment to contributions by or for employees to qualified retirement plans. How so? Well, employers may claim the deduction in current year. Employees do not include employer contributions in income until contributed amounts are distributed. It's also a good one there. Tax on earnings on amounts contributed is deferred. Big key there. We love when things get deferred. Income gets deferred until it's distributed. So most retirement plans have a number of requirements in order to be classified as a qualified plan. And these qualifications include most required the benefit to be extended to all employees. Yes, you cannot exclude any employees. It cannot just be for your officers. It has to be for everyone. And most, most of them are going to require a separate account to hold retirement assets. And this is typically handled by a bank or financial institution. Um, I mean, usually it's like Fidelity. I think Fidelity, I see a lot uh, dealing with that. But it could be any other kind of investment firm. Um, most are penalized or prohibited early withdrawals. Again, we're looking at that 59 and a half. I'll be over that. Some require immediate vesting of contributions. Basically means contributions are immediately set aside for employee and not returned to employer even if employee leaves. This is close to your pensions, as you can think of. That's basically what it is, it is a pension plan. Okay. Self-employed and self and small business retirement plan options. These are overtime tax laws have created various retirement plans aimed at small businesses, owners, and self-employed sole uh, people. Now I can't pronounce that P word. I don't know why I can't, but I can't. So we know the souls. Sold. So where are these special plans? Yes, we have special plans. One is an IRA based plan that is a simplified employee pension or SEP IRA. Okay. Now we hit the two major ones. These are the more unique ones. So with the SEP, this is available to any employer. Again, anybody can do this. Contribution amounts can change from year to year. Participants must meet requirements for minimum age and years of service. And this is all done by the business. Uh, contributions and deductions are limited under different rules for employees versus self-employed business owners. Okay. So maximum contribution. Again, maximum contributions made by employee and related deductions cannot exceed the lesser of, here's the key, this is what we gotta watch out for, 25% of employee's compensation or 57,000. Maximum contribution for self-employed business owners is the same for employees. However, the deduction limit considers net self-employment income after consideration of the deduction for that contribution to the SEP. So self-employed has to deal with the income they actually receive. So if it's a loss, probably not going to be able to get uh, any contribution, a deduction for it. But again, as you can see, for small business owners, that's a pretty good little chunk going on. Alright. 
Now we have the payroll deduction IRA. So SEP, SEP is more common with simple, which we're going to look at. But payroll deduction IRA, I'll be honest, I haven't seen too much of this. But it does happen. So, of course, we're going to look over it just in the overview. Now, this is actually the, probably the easiest plan to offer. Um, now I'm surprised I don't see it that often. But contributions are withheld from employees' pay and directly into a traditional IRA account. Hmm. We may end up calling this other names than what the payroll deduction IRA is. This could be our 401k. But I doubt it's the 401k. It's just a traditional IRA. Hmm. I still don't I don't see it very often. <laughs> I'll be honest. Again, it's either SEP or simple IRA that we see the most if it's an IRA with employee, or it's a 401k. We're going to get into 401ks, so don't worry about that. Anyway, simple IRA. This is available to employers with 100 or fewer employees, including a self-employed individual. Both employer and employee are eligible to contribute an annual limit of 13500 or 16500 for taxpayers age 50 and older. Good chunk. So, another good amount of money that you can actually install or invest. Now, the most common, common one that we usually see with employers is the 401k based plans. Okay. Now, Section 401k permit employees to either one, receive a direct payment of compensation in cash or defer the amount through an employer contribution made on employees' behalf to a profit sharing or stock bonus plan. These are highly risky, say that. Uh, since they use the stock market, yes, highly risky retirement plans at times. So, such a plan may be structured as a salary reduction agreement. If it is, employee may be allowed to reduce his or her compensation or forgo an increase in compensation with the amount contributed to a qualified retirement plan, thereby deferring tax on the compensation. Basically, I'm going to defer until I make the distribution later on out of my 401k. Still gonna pay the tax, I'm just gonna not gonna pay it now. Again, we do this when we figure we're probably gonna be a lower tax bracket when we finally with withdraw it. it. Employees choose the percentage of their pay to be withheld and contribute to the plan. Employers may match employees' contributions up to a certain percentage in order to encourage participation. Again, as employers, we'd rather you do this than have a pension. Okay? Because again, pensions are guaranteed payments. 401ks are again considering how well the stock market did for you. So, in all 401k plans, contributions are limited in two ways. Annual contributions cannot exceed 19500 or if you're over 50, 26,000 is reduced dollar for dollar for amounts contribute to other salary reduction plans offered by employer. Okay. Contribution amounts are subject to limitations applicable to all qualified plans. Again, 25% of compensation subject to limit of 57,000, 63,000. So we got limitations. Okay. We love the limitations. They make it all so fun. Okay. Self-employed 401ks or solo 401k plans are designed for self-employed individuals with no employees. Easy ones. Traditional 401k plans can be used for any type of company 
that are appropriate for businesses with at least 20 employees. In addition, lots of information, <laughs> to generally qualified requirements for all qualified plans. Section 401ks, plans must meet the following requirements. Amount deferred must be 100% vested. Again, pretty much set aside and probably in the stock market. Amount deferred may be distributed only upon Again, retirement or separation of service, death, disability, attainment of age 59 and a half, or hardship. Now, again, if you have a separation of duties or service and you go and cash out that four, uh, 401k, you will be hit with that 10% if you're not 59 and a half or older. Okay. Or have one of those exceptions. No death, disability, hardship. And hardship can change depending on way the IRS goes with. Alright. So Safe Harbor 401k plans are for small businesses with employees. They operate just like 401k plans. The one exception. They require immediate vesting for employer contributions. Okay. Amount set aside for Roth 401ks. Again, there's a lot of 401ks. We're just in it, scratching the surface. Uh, plans are the same as regular 401k plans, except the dollars played in do not reduce employees' taxable income. Withdrawals, including earnings, are generally tax-free for Roth 401k plans. Again, they act a lot like the IRAs. Uh, Roth 401k plans are popular for the following reasons. They are significantly higher contributions than the Roth IRAs. We like those. There is no AGI limitations. Yay. Again, basically what uh, we view 401k plans are, again, they are ones that play the stock market. So the more people that invest into these retirement plans, the more money that is able to invest in businesses, thus making businesses grow that are on the stock market. Not all uh, do a loss uh, if the stock market crashes or goes down basically. Uh, there is some uh, retirement plans like for uh, government people called the 403B. It's also with teachers um, that you can invest retirement in and whatever stock that gets invested by whoever um, basically manages the plan uh, will continue to go up. If it does go down, your plan actually stays the same. Don't lose any money. The one thing to say, hey, thank you for being a government employee. Just a little added item. So discussion one, what is the difference between a Roth 401k plan and the other types? What are the advantages of each? So what do you think? What do you think? Hmm? Hmm? All right. So this is the difference. A major difference is the contribution for to Roth plans. Both 401ks and IRAs are made with after-tax dollars. This means they do not reduce the taxpayer's taxable income, whereas traditional plans do. This is why mostly withdrawals, including earnings, are generally tax-free for Roth 401k plans because you already did taxes on them, while withdrawals from traditional plans are taxable. Just depends on where you want to pay the tax. If you think that your tax uh, rate or basically, uh, yeah, your taxable rate is higher, so tax bracket, there we go, tax bracket is going to be higher when you retire, uh, you may want to basically do a Roth. 
If you think it's going to be lower, you may do a traditional. It really depends. Uh, typically, still, Roth ends up being number one. Okay. Now, Roth 401k plans do have higher contributions than Roth IRAs. And there's that, that pesky AGI limitation that we saw in our previous part when we deal with IRAs. We still, if there's a distribution, will happen on that 1099-R. Okay, so we're going to conclude this video going through, um, again, other retirement accounts, basically, for small businesses and self-employed. And hitting a little bit about 401ks. Again, uh, this is just scratching the surface on 401k plans. Um, but of course, if you have any questions, you know what to do. Send me those good old emails and I will get back to you.